So hello everyone and welcome to lesson 2 of P101 online course developed by MUMPS Brazil. My name is Mario and I'll be teaching you today. Uh, we'll look over um, uh, conversation, grammar and uh, culture as described in the first video. But I would like to start with uh, talking about a poem by uh, Brazilian poet uh, Olavo Bilac. Uh, the poem is uh, entitled uh, Língua Portuguesa, so Portuguese language, and you have the full version uh, of the poem in uh, our PDF material located here below our video. So, Olavo Bilac in this poem described the Portuguese language as being the last flower of the lazio, being uncultured and beautiful. Um, he tries to trace the past of the Portuguese language, uh, stating uh, that it is derived from the Latin so from the Lazio, which is a region in central Italy. And the Portuguese language is derived actually from the vulgar Latin, as we can call it. So because of that, it is somewhat, uh, as described, uh, uncultured. But at the same time, it is a really beautiful language, a really poetic uh, language, all right. I think you should really take a look at this really uh, interesting poem, and we can talk about it later if you want. But now let's start with our grammar section of today. Uh, we are going to talk about pronouns, personal pronouns, I think one of the most introdu introductory uh, aspects of uh, learning a language. So, personal pronouns in Portuguese are eu, tu, ele, or ela, in the feminine version, uh, nós, vós, e eles, or elas, right, masculine and feminine. So, eu, uh, it's like, I, all right, the first person singular. Tu, you, so the second person singular. Ele or ela, he or she, third person singular. Then we have nós, which is we, uh, first person plural. Then the second person plural, you, and then the third person plural, um, they, all right? And actually one of the most used pronouns is the pronoun você, which actually means you, all right? The singular version or vocês with an S in the end which means you in the plural version, all right? Actually, você is a pronoun of treatment, as we call it in Portuguese, and uh, its logical reference actually is the second person of singular here, so with whom you are talking, all right? But uh, its grammatical use is actually related to the third person. When we are conjugating verbs, we use the third person uh, conjugation, all right? 
So, for example, if you say uh, you are intelligent, all right, you are intelligent, then we use você é inteligente, all right? But we will cover everything related to those pronouns later on in our uh, exercise video. But you should note that they are really important and please study them uh, together with our PDF material, all right? So now let's talk about after talking about pronouns, which is a really basic topic, uh, we will talk in the conversation section about um, basic uh, phrases, all right, like a phrase book when you are talking with people, all right. So when you meet someone, the first thing you, you will say will be um, Olá or Oi, which means hello, all right? Olá or Oi, which means hello. And after you finish talking with them, of course, you're going to say bye-bye, which is Tchau like really similar to uh, Italian, all right? So, olá, oi, and ciao. But you will probably want to say, how are you? So, como vai, or como está você? And then the, the sorry here, and then the person will answer, Probably, probably, uh, to the bang, which means I'm fine, all right? To the bang, I'm, which is similar to I'm fine, which, but uh, its literal translation would be uh, everything is okay, all right? And after you finish the conversation, you say ciao and uh, até logo. Which means see you soon. All right. We will have a full conversation class later on where we will develop some uh, typical uh, situations, all right, and you will be able to exercise uh, those phrases with uh, real situations, all right. And lastly, uh, our culture item of lesson two, which I think is the most interesting part of the lesson. Let's talk about a uh, Brazilian singer and musician, Caetano Veloso. So Caetano is a really famous Brazilian artist, musician, singer. Uh, you may have heard about him. He was born in Salvador, Bahia. And he's one of the major, one of the most important uh, artists of Brazilian popular music, MPB, Música Popular Brasileira. I have found uh, a really interesting a song that he composed uh, a, a long a long time ago which is called uh, Lingua so this is the name of the song I have the lyrics in our PDF material and what's really interesting about this song is that it is uh, somewhat related to our uh, 
poem that we saw in the beginning of the lesson. Uh, Caetano in this song talks about the development, the structure and the use of Portuguese language in contemporary and historical terms. Uh, it is a really beautiful uh, song and please watch uh, his video on YouTube. I think, I'm sure you will like it. So, uh, this is the end of our lesson two. The end of lesson two. I hope you could get a general overview of pronouns, of some really basic conversation topics, and of Caetano's Veloso uh, work. I would like to introduce him to you, so that's it. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and please download our material here below. Uh, thank you very much and muito obrigado.